These exposed chambers first caught my attention when I almost became a victim. To my dismay, it was a common sight in areas one will least expect. The pedestrian walkway and bus stop behind the Netherlands Embassy and opposite the Standard Chartered Bank at the Aquaje Interchange, the walkway before the former French Embassy adjacent to the Jubilee House and its opposite, the curve in the road leading to the back gate of the Ghana Broadcasting Corporation of the Jubilee House and on the Liberation Road close to the airport residential area. The closer I drew to these chambers, the more I became numb with thoughts about how and what it will feel like if I slipped and fell into it. Even if I were twice my height of five and a half feet tall, I wouldn't be easily noticed, let alone rescued. Some have sewage running through them with little warning of a danger, while others had become rubbish dump and others barely covered by the weeds growing around them. Some were covered with pieces of wood and others too were exposed. If you hadn't seen our lights shining bright on this chamber, was there the possibility that you would have fallen inside? I, when I got here, actually, I didn't see it. But when your lights reflected on it, I became a bit scared. So I just pulled backwards and then passed by. Getting closer, you wouldn't know there is something that you would think it's something covered until you get closer to it. Maybe uh, viewers may think I'm exaggerating the death of the chamber. Can you describe it in your own words to us? Oh, it's very deep. I think it's over 10 feet or let's say 12. I think you saved my life. I would have fallen in it. Thank you. Jesse Wadatsi is also a journalist who had closed from work and was heading home. For anyone familiar with the airport police station heading towards the Polo Heights on the Liberation Road, hawking is a common scene. These hawkers usually stroll back and forth on the median to ply their trade. Before the traffic light is this underground chamber with a thin shrub of weeds covering it. There is a ladder in it for which we are told makes it a den for phone snatchers and thieves. While filming, a young man who seemed intoxicated approached us to vent his frustration. What are our leaders doing for us? So the means we prepare them on the road. So on the, the main road. Or what, what are we going to do here? We are suffering here. Why go the midnight before you rise? You fall inside the pit. You're broken your leg or you, you can die. Last time somebody died here. Yeah, so the one that walk on the road where cars, where cars are passing, that means preparations are not part of Ghana. Children are passing here. When your child falls here, it means it's dead like that. It's a goat. There are some suggestions that covering these chambers with concrete slabs will not only keep pedestrians safe, but cannot be tampered with. The Shangri-La bus stop to airport first bus stop, I have counted about 10 of these exposed chambers and the dangers they pose to commuters and passerby cannot be overemphasized enough. We are calling on officials from the Ghana Highway Authority to find the best alternative to covering these exposed chambers that pose danger to motorists. Sarah Ofori, GBC News, Accra.